way. And now as thou hast believed, be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in that same self hour. Okay, we're just going to do one or two more, and then we're going to get into Daniel. Okay. And would you like to do one? Sure. You like to Are you one? Matthew yeah, 9? This one here. This That's one? fine. Okay. This is Matthew 9, 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. I love that. I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you why I love that. Number, well, three reasons. One, um, he went about teaching. Mm -hmm. So what he's doing is he's building faith. He's, mm -hmm. he's encouraging them and um, letting them see that his character yeah. is healing. Amen. And um, God wants us all to be whole. He wants us all to be healthy. And nobody can see me on this guy over here. So you have to scoot over. You have okay. to share the space here. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I love how... Um, he also says that he's he's teaching in the synagogues. The synagogues were back then what today is kind of like church, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people make the remarks that um, Jesus was out there on the streets and he was he was loving and ministering out mm -hmm. among the people, which he was. Right. But what they forget is he was also in the synagogue. In the synagogue, yeah. He was also teaching the pharmaceutical people. Right. You know, and the Sadducees, the religious people, right. he was also amongst them, trying and hoping and believing that they would. And he did. There were some that turned. Yeah. And turned and believed he was. Yeah, the Messiah, they believed. Yeah. You know, and he, so he went about, you know, as, as Matthew 9, 35 says, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And Mark 1 tells what he preached. Yeah. The kingdom is now and it's time to repent. You know, mm -hmm. so um, and love, healing and peace in the Holy Ghost yeah. <laughs> and healing every sickness. I love that healing every, every sickness. sickness. There's not one disease that was not taken care of on that cross. Amen. Yeah. Everything was bought and paid for. Yeah. For him, by him. Right. For you. Disease was turned into ease. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. And uh, just, just a word to you today is um, there's a lot going on. And um, yeah. a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people are confused. They don't understand. A lot of people are fearful. Um, and uh, the word I say to you today is just keep your trust in God. Amen. Keep your trust in the Almighty and fear not. God. And fear not, for God is greater than these things. And if you keep your eyes on him, you'll be able to be like Peter who walked across the water. Yeah. Peter actually took Jesus' hand and walked across that water. Yes. And that's what Jesus wants us to do during this time. He wants you to, to just take his hand and walk across this water, walk across this, this season in your life. And know that he is with you. He's the wet walker, water, wet water wet, walker. Wet water walker. <laughs> Say that a couple of times fast. Yeah. And and he wants you to know he's with you. He's with you. Amen. He is Amen. with you. And uh, there's no need to fear. When the creator of all things, the God of the universe that made all things for him. Mm -hmm. That's what the word says. Yes. All things were made for him and by him. Mm -hmm. So we were made for his enjoyment. Yes. And, and I thank God that I can be a enjoyment to him. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and, and to those around us in Amen. both faith. So, Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, thank you, Lord God. Praise God. We're going to get into back into the book of Daniel today. Amen. Amen. And uh, what they're planning to do is um, a divine reset, not a divine reset, just a reset. And... Um, in the beginning of the, of 2021, um, they're going to be getting together, and I'll tell you who who they are. In De Davos, Switzerland, Davos, Switzerland, right? The leaders of the world are getting together, and um, what they what they're doing anyway is uh, they've got to cancel Trump, <laughs> one way or the other. They got to do something. Try to. Yeah, 
they got to do. They right, want to do that. Right, yeah. they want to. They're going to try to. And um, you got like people like Bill Gates, right? George Soros, Prince Charles, you know, and um, the vast majority, you know, um, are getting together. And it's a World Economic Forum. And it's led by a guy named Klaus Schwab. And it's called the Great Reset is what it is. Yeah, that's what they're calling it. Yeah, the Great Reset. Of the and, nations. And uh, the UN mm -hmm. uh, Secretary General, Antonio Guthries, is going to be there. And they say what everybody's got to do is uh, they got to reflect, reimagine, and reset. And reset is the big word, mm. you know, and that's what they're trying to do to this nation. Mm -hmm. You know, all the anarchy that's going on, it's well-funded. Mm -hmm. It's well-funded. They, they know what they're doing. Yeah, it's just not a reaction, you know. And they had this thing well planned out. Yes. Right. Start with start with the police. Right. The protectors of us make the police the enemy. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And train the police that the people are enemy combatants. And mm -hmm. we're not. Right. We're just citizens. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And even and all of us are just just citizens. And they say that the world must act jointly and swiftly to revamp all aspects of our societies and economies from educational and social contracts and working conditions. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? They want to make us like Venezuela, mm -hmm. right? Where, okay, you know, you don't have, they, nobody there works. What do they do? They riot. What's happening in the United States? These riots. Right. What does Trump want to do? He wants to put everybody to work, <laughs> you know, have them work. He said every country from the U.S. to China must participate and every industry must be transformed. This is their focus. This is their focus. And if you're going to transform an industry, you're going to have to shut it down. <laughs> mm, wow. So if you shut down all the industries all at once, what happens? You know, and they've got a big problem with Trump, especially in the United States, because the United States for years, right, we were over in the Middle East. Well, why were we over in the Middle East? What, what, what was the main thing? Just protect Israel? No, oil, right? Oil. Well, what did Trump do? He said... We can be oil independent. And I've been saying this for years. We do not need Middle East oil. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I've been praying that we get out of get out of the Middle East and I, especially Syria. Yeah. We don't have any business right. fighting with Syria. That is a Shiite Sunni war, you know. And so anyway, but with Trump, right? making us oil independent, right? He's also getting us out of the war. And so what's he doing, okay? Mm -hmm. What he's doing is he's realigning everything. Everything's being realigned. Mm -hmm. And it's being realigned for the United States with us being oil independent and everything independent for the better. Yes. For the better. Yes. Amen. And a lot of people don't know this, but when he first came into office, he sold Saudi Arabia $10 billion worth of military equipment. Mm. That's a lot of military equipment. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's like he said, he was, I was watching him the other day, he's talking about Saudi Arabia. He said, yeah, they're a good customer, and they got a lot of money. <laughs> you know? yeah. So anyway, but um, we need to be praying about this, mm -hmm. this divine alignment that they want to do, mm -hmm. and that they're thwarted in doing it. Amen. Because what we see is we see that things in 
the book of Daniel and things in the book of Revelation are beginning to line up. Mm -hmm. Amen. In um, Ezekiel, it talks about Gog and Magog and then lining up, you know, and surrounding Israel. And right now, um, all those nations, right, that it talks about, Gog, Magog, Rosh, Tubal, mm -hmm. you know, all those nations are lining up right now. Just they don't know they're doing they're filling fulfilling prophecy, yeah. you know, but they are never before because wow. right now you've got Russia, Turkey, Iran, right, all down in the Middle East. Never before has Russia been on the borders of Israel, wow. you know, yeah. never before, even even when they were down in Afghanistan. Years ago, Afghanistan's a long way from yeah. Israel. Yeah, it's a long way from Israel. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we need to be in prayer about all this. Okay, go in your Bible, open your Bible to Daniel chapter six, mm -hmm. and I want to show you something out of the end of chapter six, and then we're going to go into chapter seven. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we've already been on for almost. 20 minutes. So we got to go fast. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's so nice to have Pastor Donna here today. Isn't it's it? Nice to be here. Isn't it nice to be here? Okay. We're going to go to verse 24. Amen. Verse 24 in Daniel 6. All right. And here we are. Right. Daniel's out of the lion's den. Amen. And here the king is going to pronounce some amazing things. And it's it's just like it's just like the end of chapter five and praise God, you know, I mean, but it's with a new king. Mm -hmm. It's with a new king. This isn't Nebuchadnezzar or Belshazzar. All right. This is this is King Darius and King Cyrus of the Medes and the Persians. And the king commanded. And they brought those men which had accused Daniel. What's accusing you today? Yes. I can tell good. you what's accusing yes. me. Cancer is accusing me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I've got things accusing me that mm -hmm. the Lord's whipping. Mm -hmm. And they cast them into the den of lions and their children and their wives and the little ones. And, and the lions broke their bones. They were right? hungry. Even before they hit the ground. Right. The enemies. In other words, we're coming into the time where yes. an, the enemies of Christ will be defeated. Yes. You will see them being defeated. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. If they're an enemy of Christ, their time is up. Amen. They will Amen. be defeated. That's Amen. Right. You're going to watch it. Yeah. Amen. When did the year start? The new year start. Most of you say last January 1st. No, the new year started on Rosh Hashanah. Amen. September. In September, just a week ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little over a week ago. It was New Year's. It was Rosh Hashanah. Amen. For the Jews. For the, mm -hmm. Well, not just for the Jews, but it's the Lord's time. The Lord's time. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's right. That's right. That's yeah, good. it's the Lord's the time Lord's to time. start the new year. Yeah. So for the Lord... The new year has already started. <laughs> started on Jewish New Year, yeah, right? Rosh yeah. Hashanah. Amen. And because it started uh, then, he's already got in motion his plan for this year. Amen. Mm -hmm. And his plan for this year is judgment. Did you know that, um, oh, Ruth. Barrett. No, 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 that's the other lady. Gainsburg. Yeah. Gainsburg. Died on Rosh Hashanah. Oh wow! Yeah, the end of of a one and beginning of a new one. Right, mm -hmm. the end of one and beginning of a new one. Amen. Yeah, but she died on Jewish New Year, the wow. end of one. So their time is up. Boom. Right. Wow. And yeah, their time is up. Right, and you're right. Um, Anne Barrett. Yeah. Yeah, Anne Barrett. Sorry about the Amy, Amy, Barrett. Amy Barrett. Right. Amy Barrett, Amy Barrett is the new nominated nominated. Mm -hmm. Right. She's nominated and she'll be elected 
because we're praying. We're praying. Yeah. So she'll she'll definitely be elected. You want righteous and authority. Yeah. Amen. And when the righteous are in authority. Yes, the people rejoice. Right. But when the wicked are in authority, the people, the mourn. people mourn. Yeah. So glory yeah. to God. We are headed into a good time. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. All yes. this anarchy, God's going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. They're all going to get saved. They're all going to come into the kingdom of heaven. Why? The church is praying. Yes. The church is praying. Yes. Okay. And then King Darius wrote to all the people and all the nations and all the languages that dwell in the earth, peace be multiplied. Yes. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble in fear before the God of Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. The and God of the Van Gorps. The that's God right. Of the, the God of, right. Dwayne Pack. The one, God right. of Michelle Connor. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is it, you know? Yes. The enemy is going to come and encounter it with a powerful God that's in you. Amen. That's in each of us. Yes. You know, God, God will rise inside us, a boldness in us, that we're not going to take the enemy's mess anymore. That's right. Praise <laughs> God. God's fighting for us. Yes. And we're going to start with healing. <laughs> that's right. The healing anointing. Yes. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Yes, you God, know, I, I, I Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. And yeah, I look forward to the day when I don't have to walk with a cane or a stumble or any of that. A limp, you know, my legs aren't swollen. I thank you and praise yes. you, Lord. Yes. For your healing anointing yes, in Jesus' name. Fight that battle. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay. For he is the living God and steadfast forever in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. Yes. So, Lord God, we lift yes, God. you Thank you, up. Jesus. Hallelujah. Your kingdom in the United States. Yes. Your dominion in the United States for years, mm -hmm. for our children and our grandchildren yes. after that. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. And, Lord, I thank you that it'll continue until the rapture. Mm -hmm. Until the rapture, until all God pulls all of his children. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they will be able to come to the United States as a safe haven. Yes. And worship the Lord yes. thy God. Yes. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And he deliver and rescue and he work as signs and wonders in heaven Whew. and in earth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Our God does. Yes, he does. Our God does. <laughs> yes, he does. Glory to God. He works signs glory and wonders. Glory to God. Glory signs to God. Signs and glory wonders. To God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And he has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered. He did what? He, he prospered. prospered. Yeah. In the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus. The Persian. Yes. And Cyrus was actually raised under Daniel. And um, Daniel taught him. He was his teacher when he came up. And then he helped and was the financer to establish Israel back into the promised land. Amen. 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 Well, good morning, Deb. It's good to see you this morning. Um Praise God. You know, Pastor Greg, I love the story of Daniel in chapter six because it gives you hope. And that's what we need to give the people today. Yeah. Um, hope that, you know, you look at the news and you guys, honestly, if you look at the news too much, it'll just depress you and make you want to just forget everything. So don't look so much at the news. <laughs> look at the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at the word. word. So but honestly, um, what we're beginning to see is that God is stepping up. Well, he's always not stepping up. It's not the right term, but God is beginning to defend you. Mm -hmm. You know, he's beginning to um, the stuff that's stirring up is just that that cause of that fire that's beginning to stir up. And God is coming into place saying, OK, enough's enough. Mm -hmm. I am now um, going to do what I've prophesied I would do. Amen. And um, and I, I, I love that uh, God is a covenant keeping God and he's true to his word. Amen. And uh, when in the, if you look in the 
um, Zechariah and Zephaniah, and you look in the Old Testament, you will see that they prophesied doom to some of these cities. What? That's exactly what happened. You know, um, those things came forth. And um, I believe that America, United States of America, as she begins to um, come together in prayer and unity, Amen. that God will arise her and allow her to be used mightily in these last days. Amen. You know, um, it's, it's a heart after God that makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. Amen. 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 Pastor Donna, it was such a privilege having you on this morning. And uh, you go. we, yeah, yeah, we've been on um, for right about just a little over a half hour. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and close in prayer Amen. and we will get into chapter seven of Daniel tomorrow. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Well, just join me right now. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for uh, your families. I want to pray for the season in your life. So um, right now, let's just pray. Father, I just lift up all these that are hearing my voice today. I lift up their families. Yes. I lift up, Father God, their finances. I lift up their loved ones, those that have lost their loved ones through this season of COVID. God, I just declare, Lord God, that you would strengthen them and guard their hearts. Let them have hope. Let them have the 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 presence of God, the comfort of God, the love of God, saturate them. Let them know, Lord God, that, that this is not the end. There is hope. There's encouragement. There's love. There's power. There's a, a plan here from God. And that that plan be revealed to them. Lord, just anoint them, their home with peace. Anoint their hearts with peace. Let them meditate on peace. Your word of Psalms 23 and Psalms 91 and, and recognizing the character of God as a good God. And Father, I pray that you would just um, be with all of them this day. Sur saturate them with your healing anointing. Saturate them with your love. Saturate you with the supernatural provision. And I thank you to so God in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Amen. Okay, we love you. And we'll look forward. We'll go through uh, Daniel chapter 7 tomorrow. Amen. Amen. God bless, bless, everyone. Thanks for yep. joining us. Bye-bye. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. Lord, we give you the 